Selly Squad and welcome back to my channel. As always, this is Sally's Kitty Haven where we turn your learn time into our fun time. Today we'll be delving into the world of creative writing. We'll be paying attention to essay writing. We're going to get started on how to write an essay by getting to know the parts of an essay. Without wasting much time, let's get straight into the video. What will we discuss today? Firstly, we'll check out the three main parts of an essay. After, we'll see a sample essay. And then we'll be introduced to the introduction of an essay, the body, and finally the conclusion. But before we'll end the video, we'll have to stop, think, and answer some questions. If you're as ready as I am, let's not waste time let's get straight into today's lesson wait do we know what an essay is what is an essay well an essay is a short piece of writing on a particular subject before you write an essay always make sure that you read your question carefully do well to make sure that you read and understand what is expected of you before you begin writing. Also, you have to create an outline. This outline will serve as a guide to help you write an excellent piece. Three main parts of an essay. To help me explain this part, I'd like to welcome my very good friend, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Well, Bobby over here is going to help us understand the parts of an essay better. You want to know how? Well, it's easy. Look at Bobby very carefully. Notice that I have divided his entire body into three main parts. First, there's his head. His head is, well, not so big and not so small and it starts the parts of his body. Then we have his neck down to his legs. Well, over here, we realize that it's a bigger region. In fact, it's the biggest amongst the three. Finally, we have his tiny feet. And then we see that that's the smallest part. Just like the division that we've made, you have to divide your essay into three main parts. Like Bobby's head, the first part of the essay is the introduction. The introduction or beginning starts your essay. So before you write anything, you have to focus on your introduction. After you're done with your introduction, you go to your body. The body is the middle part of your writing. You see, the body is the biggest part, just like Bobby's whole body. Finally, the last part of your writing will be the conclusion or the end. And like its name, it ends the entire essay. So, the three main parts of an essay are the introduction, the body and the conclusion. Now, let's put what we are talking about into practice. Assuming you're given a question like, when you get sad, what makes you happy? When you have a question like this, I'll advise that you get your notepad or a separate sheet of paper on the side and build up your outline. The outline, like I said earlier, is going to be a guide that will make it easier for you to write or answer the question. In this outline, you should be asking yourself questions like, what does this question mean? Or, what am I being asked to write about? Once you are able to come up with answers for these questions, it makes it very easy for you to draft your outline. So in your outline, you will talk about things like, things that make me sad. So what are some of the things that make you sad? Maybe when mama yells at you, or when I get bad grades in school. Now, once you build the things that make you sad, 
You can talk about things that make me happy when I'm sad. After all, that is what the question really is about. So, we could say that playing with my dog makes me happy when I'm sad or reading a storybook makes me happy when I'm sad. Once you've done this, your outline is perfected. You can use these points to develop your essay. Now, let's try and develop an essay from the topic, when you get sad, what makes you happy? I start off by saying, we all get sad sometimes. Different things can make a person unhappy. I am a very cheerful person, but sometimes I get sad when mama yells at me or when I get bad grades in school. There are two things that always help me get over my sad moments. Here, I'm done with the introduction of my essay. I have talked about the question and I've introduced everything that I'm going to discuss in the body. So I start the body by saying, My dog Coco is my best friend. It was given to me as a present on my 8th birthday last year. I love Coco with all my heart. Whenever I am sad, it will roll over and do silly tricks that make me laugh. I continue the body by saying, Also, I love reading. Books always take me on an adventure into a whole new world. They easily help me forget my sad days. I love to imagine the characters and events in my mind's eye and they keep me giggling from start to finish. Now, I have explained the two points or the two things that help me get happy whenever I'm sad. So then, it's only right that I end my entire story or essay. How do I end? I can simply say, there's nothing in this world that Coco's cuddles or reading my favorite books cannot fix. And then I'm done. Now let's try breaking the three main parts into details to get a clearer understanding. Introduction. What is the introduction? Well, the introduction is simply the first part or paragraph of your essay. This is where you start the topic for the first time. Here, you don't say much, but you say enough to keep the reader interested. Now listen, my little boys and girls. You have to always concentrate on making your introduction very interesting. No matter the topic, the introduction is the main road or the gate that opens your whole story. If the introduction is boring, no one will want to read on or no one will be interested in your story. So keep it short but very interesting. Now, let me show you something. Check out this juicy hamburger. Mmm, yummy! Now, the introduction is like the top bun of the burger. If you have a burger in front of you, usually if you see the top and it's all ruffled and crumpled and it doesn't look so juicy, you will not want to take a bite. Once the bun on the top is so fresh and so cool, you would want to take as many bites as possible. Just like the bun, your introduction must be delicious, attractive and look yummy even when somebody's reading. Body. This is the main part of your essay. The body is the meat of your essay sandwiched between the introduction and the conclusion. So the most vital and important content of the essay will be here. This is where the question in the topic is truly answered. Bringing back our hamburger we can then say that the body will refer to the middle part of the burger. By the middle part, I'm referring to where we have our vegetables like lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and we have some cheese and our beef or meat. This, you realize, is the juiciest part of every burger. 
Imagine ordering a burger and then you open it up only to realize it came with the bun but no middle part. How would you feel? Disappointed, isn't it? That's the same attitude that you must take into writing your essay. If you don't fill it with the necessary ingredients, your essay will be lacking. It will not be as amazing as it should be. Always remember that the body is the main part. This is where you invest all your time writing and making sure that you drop detail after detail to make your story interesting. The last and final part of every essay is the conclusion. The conclusion is the last paragraph of the essay. Sometimes a conclusion will just be repeating what you said in the introductory paragraph, but make sure the words are different. A conclusion is also a great place to sum up an essay. In other words, this is where you bring everything you said from the beginning and the middle to an end. Let's bring back our beggar for the last time. Mmm. Now, we mentioned that the top bun will be our introduction, the middle with the meat and the vegetables will be our body. So it's only right to say the conclusion will be our bottom bun. It's the last bun on your burger. It holds everything together at the end or at the bottom. And this is the same function of your conclusion in every piece of writing. Stop, think, and answer. Now, I'm going to give you a very short essay. This essay has been placed into three main parts, the introduction, body, and conclusion. But here's the catch. It's been scrambled up. Your job is to rearrange them in the correct order. So let's check out the story. Part A says, he was taken home by the farmers. When he reached home, he was so ashamed and felt bad for not listening to dad. Habi says, Tom lived with his parents in a village near a big lake. Every day, before he left for school, dad will warn him not to get close to the lake which was on his way to school. However, each time Tom got to the lake, he will stop and dip his feet in. Part C says, one day, on his way to school, he stopped to dip his feet in the lake, as usual. He went further to throw stones into the lake. Suddenly, something grabbed him by the leg and dragged him into the water. Tom, who was scared, began to scream and beg for his life. Luckily for him, two farmers nearby heard the loud scream and rushed to the scene. They pulled the scared boy out of the lake and tried to calm him down. Uh-oh, naughty Tom. Now, your job is to unscramble this piece. You're supposed to arrange them in the correct order. By putting the introduction first, the body, and finally the conclusion. So, go ahead, pause this video, and do this in your notepad before continuing. Now, let's try and check out our answers together. The first part, our introduction, is supposed to be Tom lived with his parents in a village near a big lake. Every day, before he left for school, Dad will warn him not to get close to the lake which was on his way to school. However, each time Tom got to the lake, he will stop and dip his feet in. The next part is supposed to be the body. It's supposed to read, One day, on his way to school, he stopped to dip his feet in the lake as usual. He went further to throw stones into the lake. Suddenly, something grabbed him by the leg and dragged him into the water. Tom, who was so scared, began to scream and beg for his life. Luckily for him, Two farmers nearby heard the loud scream and rushed to the scene. They pulled the scared boy out of the lake and tried to calm him down. 
the last part which is the conclusion is he was taken home by the farmers when he reached home he was so ashamed and felt bad for not listening to dad now you see sad tom looking super super sad and scared on the right side of our screen let's not be like tom let's always listen to mommy and daddy they know what is best for us how many of us had all the answers right i'm sure all of us had it right as it was super duper easy good job guys thank you so much for watching my video as always i would ask that you subscribe to my channel give me a giant thumbs up and share this video do not forget i love you so 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 much covid 19 is still out there so please wear your nose mask take care of yourself and wash your hands regularly don't forget i love you so 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 much toodles